What is a thermal overload relay? Typically used in a motor starters. It is a protection relay that prevent motor damage due to overloading, by breaking the control, and opening the power circuit when the monitored current, drawn by the motor exceeds the preset ampere trip value at a prolonged period. Here are the electrical symbols of a thermal overload from IEC and NEMA standards. How does a thermal overload relay works? The main part of a thermal overload relay is called a bimetallic strip. It is made up of two metals with different heat expansion rates which were conjoined together. The two metals are usually nickel and iron or steel. A heating element is wrapped around the bimetallic strip. If the current flowing in the heating element is below the setting of the relay, the heat produced is low and the strip will be in its normal state. But if the current is too high, the heating element will produce a heat, high enough to make an expansion to the two metals. As one metal expands more than the other, the strip begins to bend or curve, with the metal having the higher coefficient of thermal expansion on the outer side of the curve. The bending end of the bimetallic strip will push the shifter, activating the tripping mechanism of the overload relay. Let's check the internal part of a thermal overload relay. Power supply terminals. Thermal elements. Bimetallic strip. Insulated plate or shifter. This is the part that bimetallic push when it bends. Auto manual plus reset button. Normal stop button. Test or trip manual button. And ampere setting knob. What are the external parts of thermal overload relay and their functions? 1. Power terminals. The input terminal L1, L2 and L3 are the connection pins on top of the relay are directly installed to the output terminal of a contactor. The output terminals T1, T2, and T3 are for motor connection. 2. Auxiliary contacts. These are the normally close 95 and 96 and normally open 97 and 98. These contacts are for control circuit and alarm signals. 3. Ampere setting knob. This is used to adjust the thermal relay current setting. 4. Stop button. Used to make a normal stop to a motor in running condition. 5. Test or trip button. The button is pressed to checks if the tripping contacts are functioning as expected. 6. Auto manual reset selector. This button allows you to select between the auto and manual reset modes. Serves also as manual reset button. Let us take a look again on the working principle of an overload relay. Heating elements are in between the input and output terminals of the relay. Current passing through this terminals passes through also in the heating elements. When the motor becomes overloaded, the current goes high above the setting value, creating enough heat to bend the bimetallic strips, pushing the shifter to activate the tripping mechanism. The two auxiliary contacts that provide feedbacks to the control circuit, change over its status from NC to open position, and the NO to close position. The heat created around the bimetallic strips is directly proportional to the current passing the heating elements. The response time of the relays for overload conditions will depend on its trip class. It is categorized into classes, such as class 5, class 10, 20 and 30, each indicating the percentage of motor full load current, at which the relay will trip within a specific time frame. Overload Relay Ampere Trip Setting From the motor FLA or full load ampere which data is available in the nameplate of a motor. Overload Ampere Trip Value can be derived. Looking at the nameplate, with system voltage of 460 volts, FLA is equal to 1.47 ampere. In normal practice, the overload ampere trip value is equal to 105% to 115% of motor FLA. Motor service factor or SF which is available in the nameplate is also considered as a trip setting value. With the SF of 1.25, the overload relay can be set to 1.84 ampere. Just remember, the overload relay is used to prevent the motor from winding damage or burn caused by overloading. The best trip value is the lowest ampere that can be set in the relay, without compromising the availability of your equipment, due to nuisance tripping. Let's say we choose the 1.7 amperes between the allowable trip value of 1.55 to 1.84 ampere. From the ampere setting knob, locate the 1.7 ampere. 
Turn the knob to clockwise rotation until the set or trip value coincides with the relay setting pointer. Let us learn the function of the thermal overload relay as protection device for ADOL starter. Pay attention to the schematic, as it changed status with the device's actual condition. Switch on the power, and control circuit breakers to provide voltage to the starter. At this point, three-phase voltage is present in contactor input. Control voltages are present in contactor A1, overload relay auxiliary NO contact 98, warning lamp X1, and selector switch terminal 1. In this sample, on and off selector switch is used to start and stop the motor. Putting the selector switch to on position will close the coil circuit, and energizing the contactor magnetic coil. Then contactor's main contacts closes, thus energizing the three-phase motor. While the motor is running in normal current condition, or below the ampere trip setting of the relay. Relay auxiliary NC and NO contacts are in its default position. When the motor experience the overload, it will draw current more than its trip setting. As heat develop in the element and around bimetallic strips, the bimetallic strips then bend, and triggers a trip on the relay. Relay auxiliary contact NC will open, and the NO will close. When this happen, contactor coil will be de-energized, its main contact will go back to open position, then motor stops after the loss of supply voltage. At the same time, alarm light activates, as its circuit was closed after overload relay auxiliary NO contact closed. Before we reset the thermal overload, take note that a time is required to cool down the heated elements, for the bimetallic strips to return to their original shapes. After thermal overload cools down, then it's the only time it can be reset. Make sure to turn the selector switch to off position, so that motor will not automatically run if the relay were placed into auto reset. This keep everyone safe while the motor is being troubleshoot for the root cause of motor overloading. What causes the motor to overload? There are two kinds of motor overload. Electrical overload, and mechanical overload. Electrical overload can be due to under and over voltage and fluctuating voltage. This abnormalities degrades the performance and shortens the life of three-phase motors. Under refers to the voltage, that is below the required nominal voltage of the motor. Over refers to the voltage, that is above the required voltage of the system. Over voltage has a less harmful impact on the motor, compared to under voltage condition. Voltage fluctuation refers to the variation in the voltage magnitude in a power system. Fluctuation is the result of frequent load variation, voltage regulation and power source instability. Long duration of fluctuation can affect motor performance and temperature. Overload can be caused too by unbalanced phase voltages. Voltage unbalance is the measure of voltage differences between the phases of a three-phase system. Electrical overload can also be caused by phase loss, or single phasing. This can potentially leave the equipment in a lock rotor state, in which the motor will draw an excessive current, causing it to overheat, and activate the thermal overload relay. Typically, single phasing is caused by a defective, or open contact of a circuit breaker, worn contact of a contactor and broken thermal overload element. To locate the source of voltage abnormality in a power circuit, check first voltage from the main supply, then go down to each output of the electrical devices. Mechanical overload can be caused by one of the following conditions. 1. Undersize motor rating. 2. Misaligned load and motor shafts. Three, stuck up motor bearings. Four, over tight V belts on motor and equipment pulleys. Five, operation overload. After the cause of the motor overload have been identified and rectified, the thermal overload relay is ready for reset to make the starter ready for next operation. Press the reset button, then auxiliary contacts will return to its default position. NC for terminal 95 and 96. NO for Terminal 97 and 98. If you are interested to my channel content and want to see more of this presentation, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.